Yo, it's Virgil. So in this one, I'm going to be reacting and breaking down the brand new Dragon Ball Dima trailer, which is kind of a big deal considering they haven't really been promoing or, um, you know, hyping up this anime that's dropping in only a few months from now. And we haven't, you know, literally gotten anything for it. So this is like the first trailer ever since the original trailer for it. You guys know the lore, um, you know, uh, first impressions on it were kind of a little bit mixed. I'm always hyped for new Dragon Ball content, but it was just funny to see them go miniature. And, you know, it almost seems like a children's anime, but I'm excited for anything Dragon Ball. Um, really optimistic to see what they got in store. But enough yapping. Make sure to drop a like, subscribe for all things Dragon Ball, and let's dive into it. So we do have all the miniature main cast here. I, I believe I saw both Kais, Goku, Vegeta, Piccolo. The new character, um, he looks like the demon, uh, a demon from the demon realm. Uh, if you know the lore, I'm going to be breaking it down. I'm, I'll go back once the trailer is over. So the Shin. This is the, the new realm. I'm assuming they're going to journey here. Original work story by Akira Toriyama. This fall, new Dragon Ball begins. New adventure, man. It's, it's This is like, it's got to be GT uh, 2.0. <laughs> Dude strapped up, okay. He's got the gadget on him. They might have guns. Um assuming these are like the, the villain characters. Uh demons, more demons. My assumption that they are demons, because nothing is confirmed, by the way. Goku just looking clean, a whole lot of new shots, October 2024 here, the same time that Sparking Zero is being released, so just a big year for Dragon Ball as a whole, you can expect Dama content in, uh, in Sparking Zero, in Legends, you know, other, <laughs> the other games, but I'm super excited for it, so let's go right back to the beginning here, we got both Kais, um, I believe it's Kabuto and Shin, hopefully I got their names right, Goku, Vegeta, Piccolo, all looking, you know, I don't know, they, they they look like they don't even care that they've been transformed into miniature versions of themselves. Doesn't appear to be kids, they literally just look shrunken, right? So, the spaceship, and this guy right here almost looks like Mira from Xenoverse? Is that the game he's from? I honestly don't know, I don't play... Um, heroes or xenoverse or whatever but if you you're not familiar with that he is a demon character from the demon realm if you're not familiar with that lore basically i'm just gonna give you a quick rundown it's an unexplored realm that exists within the universe just like there is a realm of the kais there's like an opposite realm of the demons and it's not anything associated with either hell or um the devil or um you know just the afterlife in general is just like a separate realm of like uh demons right just simply that's like a race um you know he doesn't look human he looks like a demon pretty much i mean it could be that that's also an assumption and speculation because there has literally been nothing confirmed yet um you know we've seen the original trailer showed um hints of them kind of showing off what was going on in the majin buu saga so i'm kind of relating that to the majin buu um what things took place during the majin buu saga which was babidi deborah the Majin as a whole, and where that also relates from the Demon Realm as well. Where did, uh, you know, uh, Babidi obtain or get Debra to serve him from was the Demon Realm, and he was the Demon King of that location. So, um, you guys haven't seen the current lore. There's been a lot of uh, speculations and things that have come out about this topic in... in I'm going to just break it down. If you guys want to hear my... There's nothing confirmed, by the way. These are like spoiler leak slash assumptions i don't think there's anything confirmed seriously but basically um these are characters from the demon realm that are trying to obtain the position of or take a hold of the demon realm because like i said the assumption is deborah has been obliterated the realm is vacant of a king of a ruler that one miniature dude with the staff looks pretty evil goku clean shot by the way yeah, the animation looks so incredibly good, but if these are, like, locations of the Demon Realm... By the way, we could be completely wrong. Completely wrong. That's all I've, I've heard from, you know, different sources, Twitter, etc., right? 
We got Goku. Another clean shot, by the way. Yeah, that looks tough, bro. Okay. So he's definitely giving me like GT vibes or like a side quest vibes. Um, you know, for those wondering if, you know, what you only care about super or like, is this going to relate to super? Is this canon? Is this going to be an event that uh, takes place in relation to the existing storyline? I honestly think it will. It will have something to do and relate. You know, obviously this is a continuation from Dragon Ball Z because there is a story that continues after Z, so it's somewhat canon, um, but will it continue and relate to Super? It is yet to be seen, and if this is going to be a whole other, like, if Super, you know, this is Z and Super goes this way, maybe Daima is like a parallel, like, GT is also another alternate universe kind of thing. I don't know if that's, that's going to be the case, but he brings back the power pole. This guy, you know, Mira 2.0, I mean, he honestly looks cooler than the OG Mira, um, the fake Mira. Uh, <laughs> with the gadget, bro. Literally, the it looked like a desert eagle. So, it, demons, you know, I keep saying it because they really just look like that is the one thing that has been expressed in the Dragon Ball franchise, but never really explored, right? Demon King Debora, Demon King Piccolo. Um, there's a, you know, numerous other low key, I think, demons or like characters from that Majin Buu saga that came to fight the Z fighters early on before Majin Buu. So this guy right here, that's Shin. This guy right here, I don't know if this is the... Yeah, I, I doubt they're even showing, like, the villains or anything. Like, these are probably not even, like, main cast, like, antagonists. But they're probably going to have something to do with the major storyline. So this secretive robot kind of looking character here with this you know he's hiding something behind this cloak this you know i've seen a lot of funny shots about this how this kind of looks like 17 from gt super 17 I, you know he's got a gun here this is probably mira right like the fake mira he's the only dude that we've seen hold a gun in this but so he is sparring up with him um this is like the you know what i was saying previously with that miniature i'm assuming this is the um the villain or like the guy that is kind of watching over the kais um there is a there's a whole other thing too if you guys are familiar i'm not really like that much of like an in-depth dragon ball researcher or whatever <laughs> i'm really more of a just an enjoyer but you know how they have kais so like the gods they have like the inverse or the uh the opposite of them are like the uh hakaioshin i think that's what it's called basically like the uh, the demon version of a Shin God. So, like, this guy right here, um, seems like that, right? Like, Hakaioshin, am I saying that incorrectly or correctly? Just let me know in the comments, bro. I'm, I'm pretending like I know what I'm talking about. Uh, but yeah, these guys are kind of just observing the Z Fighters, seeing what's going on. This little miniature dude is watching over them. But, uh, basically, it was, like, a very similar display in the original trailer of them overwatching of the events of the Majin Buu saga so it just that's why I feel like it does correlate with the Majin Buu saga so so this is his face right here um definitely looks like <laughs> like a demon to me okay more mirror shots Shin Goku just being him and then Daima of course um, confirmed October 2024. I'm definitely super excited for this anime and, you know, what what it may bring with it. You know, they're keeping it very secretive as right now. Like, they're literally taking forever to even drop this trailer. And this is not even giving us too many, too much information. No dialogue. Uh, just, you know, a couple of new characters. I believe the website is open that can actually describe who the characters are. Maybe even their names. Um, if we go look at that right now, Dragon Ball. Let me just look it up. Dragon Ball websites official site right here. So let me just open it up. Um, Dragon Ball Dima. So we click this and go to. Okay, so this is it. Welcome to the Great Adventure. So these are the new characters from the trailer. Um, you know we got Goku, Vegeta, Shin, uh, Piccolo. These left characters. Who are they? Okay, 
We got a name here, Glorio, who appears in a plane before Goku Mini and company caped by Masked Majin. Okay, so it's confirmed already. Cape Masked Majin, I'm assuming it's this guy, and Goma, who watches Goku. So all three names, we do have Glorio with the Glock. We got the Masked, Caped Masked Majin, and Goma, who watches Goku and the company with intense gaze from Strange Location. The new trailer is packed with scenes featuring mysterious new characters. Also shows Goku Mini together with Supreme Kai Mini, who have been turned small in conspiracy. Great adventure with the Goku Mini and company by who have turned small. Stay tuned for Dragon Ball World, who has no one ever seen before, um, or no one has ever seen before. But that is all the news they have right now. They're keeping it super low key. Uh, the animations look really sick. I'm super interested in the story are we going to get any new transformations is goku just going to kick ass in base form is there going to be any like like you know it does i'm really getting uh you know it's dragon ball right they've evolved so much to where it's like super intense in terms of like the fights and whatnot i wonder if they're going to keep some of those um uh pieces of those factors in this anime it seems super dimmed down to cater to younger audiences with like the miniature like a boruto kind of vibe comparison to shippuden kind of a thing but you know i'm sure they're gonna dabble and you know mix it up get make make it really good for everyone that's enjoying it so for older audiences for younger audiences it's gonna be like an overall thing but as a dragon ball fan in general i'm extremely extremely excited about it and i will be covering you know dis discussing the topics you know all things Dragon Ball related will be giving you guys my opinions and so on and so forth. I'm really excited to see what they do for Legends as well, because this is probably pre-Legends Festival, and we're going to be getting characters or anything related to the uh, to this show, and as well as maybe even Sparking Zero, a potential collab for that. But yeah, let me know your thoughts in the comments, or if you guys have any speculations, any thoughts, theories, let me know, because I do read my comments. But see you guys in the next one. Let me know if you guys also like videos like these, because I do plan to make a ton more. But stay frosty, and... I'm out.